Welcome to an AIB special presentation, Music of Resistance and Survival, a Holocaust Remembrance Concert. It's part of a commemoration held March 23, 2015 at the Temple in Atlanta, Georgia. Friends, good evening. I'm Rabbi Peter Berg from the Temple, and I want to welcome you to this historic congregation, Atlanta's oldest and Georgia's largest synagogue. We're proud to welcome you to our historic sanctuary, and we're grateful to tonight's event sponsors, Kennesaw State University, the College of Arts and School of Music, the Temple, the Georgia Commission on the Holocaust, Kennesaw State University Museum of History and Holocaust Education, the Bremen Museum, the Lillian and A.J. Weinberg Center for Holocaust Education, and I want to extend a special welcome this evening to the Atlanta Jewish Music Festival, which is concluding its event, its uh, series of uh, concerts and programs this evening at Russell Gottschalk, and so many members uh, are here this evening, and we want to welcome you. I want to encourage you to look at the beautiful programs that you have and see the many different uh, sponsors and donors whose names are listed in the program book. We're grateful to all of them for helping make this evening possible. Cantor Hartman and I want to offer our special gratitude to really the inspiration for this evening, the person who made this entire event possible, the amazingly talented Dr. Lawrence Scher. Tonight is a very special night for our community as we share the music of resistance and of survival. Our commemoration tonight is a combination of words and of music and of silence, each of which has a very special place in Jewish history. These forms of worship and connection were defining moments during the times of the ancient temple sacrifices, and also the melodies uttered from the lips of those who watched their homes and their lives shattered before them. They would say, anima amin, I believe with perfect faith. And they would sing those words over and over again. This is how we show our gratitude to God through music and prayer and silence. The way we highlight the meaningful words of our tradition, the way we add expression to our everyday lives, the way we interpret our unique history, the way we involve a sense of awe for being alive, the way we seek self-examination, and the way that we join together in communal endeavor. We are here tonight because humanity demands that we remember the Holocaust. We remember not only what Hitler did to all of humanity, to the millions who died, but we also remember the courage of the Warsaw Ghetto fighters, the men and women and children who fought so bravely sometimes through song itself. And we remember the righteous Gentiles, people who were not Jewish, but risked their lives to save the lives of others. So tonight is not just a performance or a gathering. Tonight is a sacred obligation, not only for the survivors of the death camps and for their children, but upon every American today and for all of tomorrow. We are here because we believe in freedom, in human dignity. We remember, we care, we are sad, we try to understand, and we won't let it happen again. Tonight you will learn about several important personalities as well. One who I want you to know about is Cantor Shalom Katz. Cantor Katz was born in Romania and was considered a full cantor by the time of his bar mitzvah at the age of 13. He was 18 years old when he was ordained a rabbi, and he became the chief cantor of Bucharest before he came to the United States after the war. His unique story is that he was captured by the Nazis, he was imprisoned in a concentration camp, and was forced at gunpoint to dig his own grave. Cantor Katz at the time asked the SS guard who was standing there if he could sing, 
if he could sing while he dug his grave. And he sang the traditional El Malay Rachamim, the memorial prayer that's recited at a funeral service. The guard was so moved that he allowed cats to escape. Katz subsequently survived the concentration camp, and after the war, he continued to sing El Malay Rachamim, God who is full of compassion. He chanted the prayer at prominent international ceremonies. He added new texts that describe the suffering that took place during the time of the Holocaust. And he even named several of the concentration camps in the piece. His singing and his story were so compelling that Dr. Schur transcribed several essential excerpts from one of the El Malay Rachamim recordings, and that can be found in the second movement of the cello sonata. Tonight, you will hear stories like the story of Cantor Katz, extraordinary stories accompanied by magnificent music. It will tell the story of resistance and the story of survival, and tonight, those stories will become your stories. Tost viel zur Wand in die Wälder freie und steht Kitten auf die Hand. Hobo Bixa Bixa, neue Mann Freund, kuscht mir Hand zum Achsel. Mitten Bix bin ich von Heid, das zu neu gewachsen. Mitten Bix bin ich Rot nu koma hot azin, wenn mir blut vor Stolz ziehen, vor den heiligen Bogen für mir die Streiten. Nein, mir wird kein Mal sein, letzte Mohikane. Springt er nach die Sonnenschein, der jed der Partisane. Sprengt die Nacht, die Sonnenschein, der jed die Partisane. Wiegala, Wiegala, wo Spielt auf der Leihe, er spielt zu Sus im grünen Ried, die Nachtigall, die singt ein Lied. Thank you. 
My name is Dr. Lily Kshensky Baxter, director of the Weinberg Center for Holocaust Education at the Bremen Museum. The songs created and sung in the ghettos, camps, underground bunkers, and forest hideouts of the Holocaust gave voice to the shared sadness and grief, as well as defiance and hope of the Jewish people of Europe. Sung mainly in Yiddish, the language of Eastern European Jews, but also in the languages of the countries where Jews had lived for centuries, these songs concerned every aspect of life. They were lullabies and children's songs, songs of love and unbearable loss, songs of heroism and incredible overcoming. When spirits sank, songs took over. The songs that open this program were written by three remarkable singer composers as courageous as they were talented. Ilse Weber, the composer of Vigile, in English lullaby, was a Czech singer and poet. She was also a well-known children's radio entertainer and writer of children's books. She composed and sang songs accompanying herself on the mandolin or guitar. In 1942, Ilse Weber was sent, along with her husband and son Tommy, to Theresienstadt concentration camp in Czechoslovakia. She worked as a night nurse in the children's infirmary, doing everything she could for the young patients without the aid of medicine which was forgiven, forbidden to Jewish prisoners. At night, when all was still, her lovely voice would rise up in the darkness and sing about home and hearth, love and yearning. Weber wrote about 60 poems during her imprisonment and set many of them to music. In 1944, Weber's husband and Tommy were transferred to Auschwitz. Ilse volunteered to join them, hoping to keep her family together. Upon arrival in Auschwitz, Tommy and the other children were immediately sent to the gas chambers. Ilse Weber, of her own accord, accompanied them. It is told that she comforted the children in their last hour by singing the lullaby Vigila. Shmerke Kaczerginski and Hirsch Glick are both from Vilna in Lithuania and were members of the Vilna Partisans forest guerrilla fighters who sneak attacked German soldiers and sabotaged German military convoys. Yid du Partisaner, in English Jew you partisan, was written by Kaczerginski while living and fighting in the forest outside Vilna. It is a rousing, animating song that praises the freedom of the forest against the stifling imprisonment of the ghetto. Kaczaginski's Yugen hymn, or youth anthem, which you'll hear a little later, was specifically written for the youth club of Vilna and asserts that all who want to can be young, regardless of age. It is a song I know well, having sung it hundreds of times at a camp called Camp Hemshech, a camp in the New York mountains created for their American children by Holocaust survivors, many of whom had been resistance fighters. They wanted us to have the same spirit and daring in the new world that they had had in the old one. Hemshech in Hebrew means continuation. 
Kaczaginski's repertoire was incredibly varied and included not only battle hymns, but also theater melodies, tangos, love songs, and lamentations. After the war, he established a Jewish museum in Vilna where he rescued and stored Jewish books, art, and cultural artifacts. In 1947, he edited the first anthology of Jewish songs published after the war called Unser Gesang, Our Song. He devoted the rest of his life to collecting Holocaust survivor testimonies and documenting and publishing Holocaust songs. In 1954, he was killed in an airplane crash in Argentina after returning from another lecture. When the news of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising of April 1943 reached the Vilna Ghetto, Hirsch Glick, a young poet and resistance fighter of 22, was greatly inspired. Set to a melody by Russian Jewish composer Dmitry Pokras, Zognit Kainmo, translated as Never Say, became what we would call today an instant hit. A song of defiance, vision, and hope, it quickly spread from ghetto to ghetto and from camp to camp. People sang it in attics and in cellars. They hummed it in the presence of German guards when on slave labor details. They repeated its refrain, Mir sein en do, as password to underground hideouts. Mir sein en do, we are here, defied Hitler's master plan of a world without Jews. Its imagistic power and unyielding hope served as powerful inspiration for a world with a strong Jewish presence. Just listen to a word, a verse. From green palm lands to distant lands of snow, we are advancing with our pain and our woe. But where a spurt of our blood has fallen on the earth, there our courage and strength will have rebirth. Also known as the partisan hymn, Zogni Kemo became the official anthem of the Holocaust and is sung today at Holocaust remembrance programs around the world, including our own Atlanta commemoration. You can say that what we shall overcome was to the civil rights movement, Zogni Kemo was to Jewish resistance during the Holocaust. As we continue with the program, listen to Kaczaginski's Yid du Partisaner at the beginning of Lawrence Sherl's Cello Sonata. Listen to Ilse Weber's Vigela at the end of the second movement, and Zognit Kainmol in the third movement. Singing is a communal experience. Singing together gives a people companionship and strength. Sources of comfort and hope, of patience, defiance, and sorrow, these songs make clear one overriding message, that despite it all, the Jewish people prevail. Am Yisrael Hai. Geht's dem letzten Weg, Himmel in Blauen auf der Stille in Blauen Tieg. Komm in Bett nach unser Räuschgebänkte Schuh, das Wetter beugt in unser Trott mir seinen Duh. Komm in Bett nach unser 
heroiska bänk till show. Sveta pojken och så trött blir det sen ändå. Fun brim in pal i land, bis vajt in land, fun snö. Mir på min ån, mitt unser pöjt, mitt unser by. Fun boget val en sig, spred spod, unser blod. Sprod sin vett och unser gafor och unser mod. Fun boget val en sig, spred spod, unser blod. Sprod sin vett och unser gafor och unser mod. Morgen sun var gilden uns dem heint, und der Nacht in Bett war schwind in mitten feind. Nur auf voll Sonne weht die Sonne und der Kajor, wie ab Porol so geht das Lied vom Dor zu Dor. Nur auf voll Sonne weht die Sonne und der Kajor, wie ab Porol so das Lied von Dor zu Dor. So gnit kein wohl aus, du gehst dem letzten Weg. Himmeln bleien auf, war still in bleuen Tee. Komm, er wird noch unser Reus gebänkte Schuh. Sweet a point, den unser Trott mir sein in Do. Komm, er wird noch unser Reus gebänkte Schuh. Sweet a point, den unser Trott mir sein in Do. Unser Lied ist voll mit Treue, Trist ist unser Muntergang. Kost der Säune wacht beim Teue, Stur im Jungen mit Gesang. Jung ist jeder, jeder, jeder will es viel nur. Joren haben keine Verteid. Alte kennen, kennen, kennen euch seine Kinder. Neue freie Zeit. Wir es wogen um auf Wegen. Wir mit Dreis geht stellt sein Fuß. Bringt die Jugend See und Hegen von dem Ghetto a Gruß. Jung ist jeder, jeder, jeder. Wer es will nur. Joren haben kein Verteid. Alte kennen, kennen, kennen euch seine Kinder von der neue freie Zeit. Kräumen wir zu und auf die Glieder wie der Stuhl in mir die Reh. Geht der Bäuer, geht der Schmiede, lohn mir alle Jung ist jeder, 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 wer es will nur. Joren haben kein Verteid. Alte kennen, kennen, kennen euch seine Kinder von der neuen freien Zeit. Von der neuen freien Zeit. Good evening. I'm Lawrence Schur, the composer of the upcoming cello sonata. We are gathered tonight to remember the past in order to inform the present. We seek to recover lost and forbidden voices, to bring to light, to life, the creative works whose sounds and sometimes whose creators were silenced during the Holocaust. The four songs we have just heard, along with the prayer that Rabbi Berg described, are the historical sources I chose to integrate with the new music I wrote for my sonata. There are compelling stories for each of these songs and for their creators, stories that we want to share with you. Our musical selections, speakers, 
program notes, and lyrics help us all to learn about the lives, music, and contributions of these artistic heroes of the Holocaust. My hope is that we can build a bridge to the past, that we can strengthen the legacy of creators like Ilse Weber, like Hirsch Glick, like Schmerka Kaczorginski, creators whose voices were suppressed, yet who continued to bring forth creative work even in harrowing circumstances. As you can see in the program notes for my sonata, the outer movements are based on songs of the Jewish partisans. The first movement on Yid du Partisaner, and the third, final movement on Zognit Kainmo and Yugit Him. Rather than only remembering Jews and other persecuted groups as victims, this framing tells a different story of the Jewish experience during the Holocaust. A story of fortitude and resilience, of courage and boldness, of the active struggle against persecution and genocide. This narrative of resilience is reflected in the name we chose for our event, Music of Resistance and Survival. We will have a special moment at the opening of the second half to honor all the survivors who are here tonight. But at this time, I would like to pay special tribute to three survivors who helped me during my work on this project during the last 18 months. First, my friends, Alfred and Tasha Schneider. Would you stand, please? Whatever I brought to them, European and Israeli archive items, family documents, song lyrics, whether in Yiddish, Hebrew, Polish, or Russian, they helped me to decipher and understand them all. And Anne Klug, will you also stand, please, for a moment? Ms. Klug is a survivor of the Vilna Ghetto. I mentioned names like Schmerka Kaczorginski when I was interviewing her about Vilna Ghetto songs. And when I mentioned Hirsch Glick, who penned Zognit Kaimo, she responded, oh, him I knew. I knew his sister. And she started to tell me stories about his family and the Vilna Ghetto. And then when she sang Zognit Kainmo for me and recounted having done so when she was in the Vilna Ghetto, I felt transported back in time. To all three of you, I express my deep appreciation for helping to illuminate my understanding of the music and culture of that time. Hopefully, I have been able to capture some of that to share with our audience tonight. Thank you very much. I would now like to welcome Sheree Kruger and Robert Henry to join us to briefly illustrate one passage in my sonata. Will you please welcome them? The third movement is a set of variations on the Zognit Kainmol variation, on the Zognit Kainmol melody. And each variation has a different character. The first is lyrical, the second is a march, the third is dramatic, the fourth is expressive, the fifth is atmospheric, the sixth is titled Yiddish Dance, 
and the seventh, like the third, is dramatic. In the final variation, the eighth variation, the theme returns and is followed by a whirlwind tour of the whole movement as brief snippets of each variation appear to lead to the end. We would like to demonstrate what happens at the beginning of this last variation, where two of the Holocaust songs we have heard are layered on top of each other. We'd like you to be aware of that when it happens in the beginning of the third movement. Both players start with the Zolgnit Kainmol melody and the piano continues it. The cello then comes in with Jugendtim. This is what the two songs sound like when they are combined. I would like to conclude by mentioning two things about this last movement. First, there may be some slight pauses between some of the variations. We ask that you hold your applause to the end. Second, we know that Vilna partisans, like Kaczerginski, were involved in educational efforts at the Vilna Youth Club. This morning, we presented an abridged version of this concert to over 100 students and teachers here in the sanctuary and to others watching online. Like the Vilna partisans, we realize that it is essential to include the next generation if we are to address prejudice, intolerance, and hate in our time. It is our youth who can carry these stories of resistance and survival to those who come after us and who can help us strive for a better world. Thank you very much.